Okay, so I have not used my sublimation or inkjet printer for about two months now. So I'm going to test it and show you how to do a printhead cleaning and hopefully they will still work. So yeah, let's do this. Alright, welcome back to my channel. It's Trailer Dead Wine Ninja and today I'm going to see if my Epson 2760 sublimation and inkjet printer still work because I've just been so busy and sick that uh, for the past two months I haven't been able to do any kind of really crafting stuff with my printers so I haven't been upkeeping or maintaining the once a week printout which you should do if you own these printers it's very crucial so that your print heads don't get clogged or dried up and um, since it's been really hot here I'm very concerned <laughs> I'm kind of scared I've been putting it off because I'm scared that my printers no longer work but let's just get them out of sleep mode. Oh, is this one even plugged in? Okay, I'll have to check on that later. Let's just try the sublimation print. If you are new to my channel, uh, I am legally blind and colorblind, so I have to like super zoom in just to read whatever is on the screen. But let me show you how to get into print head clean mode. Just find these buttons here. Okay, so I'm gonna press the right arrow button until you get to settings. Press OK, press, oops, wrong button. You're gonna go to maintenance, press OK, and here you're gonna do, I'm gonna do a nozzle check. And it says press OK to proceed. And let me just load in a piece of paper and then I will press the print button and we'll see if any of my nozzles are clogged. Okay, so I have a blank piece of paper loaded in there in the back. I don't think you can see it, but okay. Let me just press the print button. What does that say? Sorry for the shakiness. I can't use my tripod here since my printers are on a printer cart just gonna press okay what does that say now okay it's so just verifying the paper and i plugged in my bottom printer i guess it was unplugged this whole time so eeks that's the one I'm really concerned about. Sub the sublation ink I normally use. Check your ink levels regularly. Okay. Um, usually doesn't dry out as fast as the inkjet one. Here are my ink levels here. I still have enough for the sub and I have a lot in my inkjet. So here is the printout. Let's take a look. Okay, the problem with this is I can't see very well but so I see these lines here I'm missing this whole section or is that yellow can't tell I usually have someone do this for me or I'll print it out but I'll have someone check the colors for me but basically it says yellow magenta cyan and black so I think this is supposed to be yellow magenta and cyan and make sure there are no gaps I'm gonna zoom in super close I think it's okay at the end of this video I will be printing out um, an image just to make sure but sublimation printer I think it's okay I'm gonna do hmm, a print head clean just to be safe Okay, so after it does the nozzle check printout, it says, are there any missing segments? And I'm going to say no. Because um, I don't think I saw any, right? But if you do say yes, it will take you to the printhead clean. So maybe I should say yes. 
Okay, I'm gonna press. Okay, oh. What did that say? Okay. Um. Clean print head. Sorry, I can't say it so. Small. Clean print head to correct missing dots. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna press this. And I'm just gonna give it a cleaning to be safe. Okay, let's move on to this problem child here, which is the inkjet ink. Dries super fast, so if you are using the Epson 2760 as a regular inkjet printer, the ink that it comes with dries super fast, so I'm scared to do this one. The sublimation ink, like I said earlier, it kind of holds up a bit better if you don't print every week. This one eeks. Alright, so let's just repeat same process settings maintenance oops I pressed the wrong button maintenance okay nozzle check what does it say we'll have to load paper be right back okay I'm gonna press print and let's see how this comes out. Okay, here are the results. The blacks. I think it looks good, right? I'm gonna trip in. And there's a line missing down here. I don't know if that was normal. I don't remember. Yellows, I think, came out. Can't see them. They look alright. Magentas look good. Let me turn it around to the sublimation printer and see if that blue line was also missing from that printer. It looks like it was. So, whoa. My printer's okay after not using it for two months. I don't know. I'm gonna try to print out images now and we'll see if they both really do work. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to do a print head clean anyways. What does this say again? I keep forgetting. Okay, I have to press OK. Yes. I'm going to do a cleaning only because it's been two months. So, okay, so while both these printers clean themselves, I'm going to print out an image on sublimation and my inkjet, and let's just see if it really is working or not. To wrap up the print head clean, um, it will prompt you to do an another nozzle check after you've cleaned to make sure, but since it didn't look like my lines were or my nozzles were clogged in the first place, I'm just going to click finish and uh, let's see, I'll just press OK. Oh, I don't want to do a nozzle check because I'm just going to try to print it. Okay, so you can just press back or you can nozzle check and see if your lines turn out better this time. Okay, so right now I am on my PC. I'm just using the free program, Paint 3D, and I just pulled up an image of like some Halloween squishies since it's almost Halloween time to print out and I figure there should be enough colors in here to really test the printer. There's like blacks, beiges, greens, pinks, reds or something, orange. I mean, I can't see color, but I'm assuming every color is almost in here to test out the printhead nozzle. I think, is there blue? Well, I guess to make green, you would need blue and yellow, so I believe that should work. So I'm going to print this out on both my sublimation and my inkjet printer, and then we'll come back and show you the results. Okay, here are the printouts. I had to run upstairs because my computer's downstairs and my printer's upstairs. This is the sublimation 
print out I did um, inverse it just in case I would I don't think I also made this onto anything but just in case okay this is sublimation let's take a closer look it looks like I have some ink splots on the side here so looks like something leaked but let me just zoom in I don't see any lines or missing segments right or maybe I just can't see let me know in the comment box down below if there are any missing oh here are some lines here black lines interesting missing segment there oh lines here so yeah okay we have some issues I might have to just do another print head clean in the red in the face the beige the Dracula interesting let's look at this little cutie he seems okay to this mummy guy um was that in the graphic I don't remember probably Oh, this little skeleton, I mean. Don't see anything there. Let me just super zoom in. Sorry for the shaky footage. Can't use my tripod in this room. Oh, uh, I think he's alright. I think the pumpkin's fine. Pumpkin witch. Let me check his hat. Mmm, can't tell. Frankenstein. Oh, big splot here. Or is that my light? No, it looks like a big missing spot. Did I have that in the original graphic? Don't know. That's a really weird thing for it not to print though. I think I may have just erased a dot by accident. Who knows? And there's another one here. Alright. So it looks like up here I can see there's major print lines. So, okay, let's take a look at the inkjet printer. Okay. Looks kind of good, the ghost. Alright, this guy has no lines on the Dracula. Okay. How about you? No, you look good. Okay, so I must have added some dots there in the original graphic. So that's not an issue since they're on both of them in the exact same spots. Hmm, surprisingly the inkjet came out a lot cleaner. Yep. Okay, remember sublimation ink always comes out faded because it's not activated yet, so you can see here. Here's the Frankenstein. You see the color is so much more vibrant on the inkjet. And then on the sublimation, it looks a little dull. That's normal. Okay, so don't freak out about that. It's just because it's not heat activated yet. But I think my inkjet printer is good. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do another print head clean on the sublimation. And then I will print this out again and see if I still have these issues here okay okay just wanted to show you that after you press maintenance and if you don't want to do a nozzle check since I already know it's clogged I don't need to waste my time doing another nozzle check um, you can just press the right arrow button and then there is the print head cleaning it's just called head cleaning and there also is a power cleaning um, I'm going to do 
the power cleaning this time. It takes longer, but hopefully it might work better. So I'm going to press OK to proceed. And what does that say? Is it the following website? What else? Okay, I guess I can't do a power cleaning. Weird. I've never done it before, so that was weird. I'm just going to do a regular print head clean. And start the cleaning. Where's my button? There we go. Okay, and then I will reprint out those Halloween squishies. And hopefully it will come out better this time. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that if you keep going through the maintenance, there is a print head alignment setting and also a paper guide cleaning. I wonder if I should try to do that as well before trying to reprint it out. I'm gonna do... Let's just see what this print head alignment is. Press OK to proceed. Load letter. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna load a piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a piece of paper loaded. Where is my hand? Okay. I'm gonna press print. Let's just see what happens. making these noises it's printing check your ink levels regularly okay oh so something is coming out I'll come back when it's done this is what the print head alignment printout looks like so they do actually have you do this when you first set up your machine uh, let's just zoom in. Okay, I do see lines in the black for number one. Number two, I see some lines. Three and four look good. Five, there are some lines. Okay, ooh, see, look, red has lines. Three and four have lines. Five have lines. Here's my number one. Number one has lines. Number one here has lines. So it looks like something is off, right? Because those should not have lines in them. Okay. Let's see what this says. Look at the printout and choose boxes with the least lines. On the next screen, select the number. Okay. So, gonna press OK. Select number three. Actually, yeah, uh, three. Um, what color is that though? Green? Okay. So for me, it looks like seven might have the least lines, right? I don't even know. Okay, again, sorry, the footage is going to be very shaky. I'm going to go, oh, it's going down. I need to go up. I'm just gonna, oh, there's no seven, five, one, uh, okay, weird, okay, I was able to find number seven, I just kept pressing down, 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 last one, let's see if it will let me confirm my selection, no, it keeps changing to four, 
weird. Okay, maybe I just wasn't pressing the button hard enough, but it finally let me select seven. It says alignment complete changes are reflected from next time you print. Okay, let's see if that worked. So, let's print out that same Halloween image and see if it helped. The moment of truth. Let's see if this worked. Let's just take a look here. Oh, better. I think it fixed. It's fixed itself. I don't know why I can't talk right now, but yeah. Okay, so for those people that have been messaging me about lines in their printouts, so I keep telling you to do a print head clean, but you know what? Do a print head alignment instead. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Isn't that so much cleaner? I mean, minus my mistaken dots there. That's not the printer's fault. Much cleaner. Yep, I think it's good. There was the first printout with the lines on the mouth there. And here is the second printout where it is fixed. Yep. There we go. Maybe that won't be so shaky. Okay, looks really good. This was the main issue that I could spot. If you see any issues on this printout, let me know. But besides those dots, that was me. Okay, so hopefully this helps you out if you have any lines where we haven't used a printer in two months like me. This is how you can resolve it by doing a print head clean and a print head alignment. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!